I'm Jennifer Aquino, and today a complete stranger is going to pay for my haircut. I met Adriana online at mamasource.com, which is a really cool website with moms that share advice and they support each other. Well, I had posted that I was looking for an inexpensive hairstylist to cut my long hair and that I was considering maybe donating my hair to charity ever since I saw Hillary Swank donate hers on Oprah. Well, Adriana thought that it would be a great idea if I donated my hair to Pantene Beautiful Lengths, which is an organization that provides free wigs to cancer survivors. So she decided to pay for my haircut at her style salon if I was willing to donate my hair. So after contemplating for a long time, or not that long actually, um, I decided to take Adriana up on her generous offer. I later find out that it's very personal to Adriana because her mother had cancer and her mother passed away two and a half years ago. And Adriana herself donated her hair to Pantene Beautiful Lengths as well. So today, I'm going to meet Adriana in person for the first time and I'm going to donate my hair. Kind of nervous, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited. It's, it'll be a nice change for me and I know that I'll be supporting a really good cause. Here I go. So I'm on my way to the salon. I've never been there before. Don't know who she is. All I know is that the hairstylist's name is Aleda. She better give me a cute haircut. That's all I have to say. <laughs> We're on Ventura Boulevard in the valley. It's a very nice day today. Not too hot, not too cold. And we are passing shoot. Thank you, Adrian. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Sweet 
side. You could probably even just, I mean, if you don't wash your hair tonight, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's really cute. I put cotton. That's a lighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I, I was going to ask you, like, what kind of cancer she had? She actually had breast. She had uterine cancer. Oh, wow. Yeah. And did she have enough time to know, she know it for a long time? No, you know, the funny thing is she actually went to a regular checkup. Uh -huh. And I remember because we were going on vacation, like, in April. And, <laughs> and in December, she was having her arm was getting uh, it was it's inflated. Oh, no, oh. it was actually inflated. Her left oh. arm it was really swollen. So she went in, and they thought maybe it was the lymph nodes. They gave her antibiotics. It wasn't working. They gave her stronger antibiotics, and then they did a, a scan, and then that's when it came back. Yeah. And then we yeah. went in, and the doctor it looks like nice and bulky. Oh. And, oh. and oh. so initially, I mean, what from the time they got told on Thursday. That Monday, she started chemo. That's how fast. Wow. I've been in chemo for a good six months. And I remember when we asked the oncologist, you know, how long do you think she has? And she says, and I was pregnant at the time. Mm. And she says, you know, I'm really, and I was doing July. She says, let me do this. And she says, I'm going to try very hard to have her make it through to see her second grandchild. She was able to see the birth of Oh, yeah. He was already six months old. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. He was already six months old. It was fast. It was from being told to chemotherapy to, I remember we went back from the hospital and it was a beautiful day. It was the first day the sun came out. Uh, I wish you could have waited to see the sun. Uh -huh. You know, and my dad's like, no, but the sun is out because she's now. Yeah. Oh.